So thank you, MindLab. Um, so cool. Thank you for the shirt. Thank you, especially for this. That is uh, outstanding, super outstanding. And thanks for the stickers. I'll put these to good use. So cool. Ah, and the uh, quick turnaround time. Thanks a lot. That was, uh, even though that was quick, it was still painful for me waiting and not being able to try out my new six inch coil anymore. But the wait is over. I'm gonna plug this in, get it all charged up, and uh, I'll be out tomorrow. So, Tally Hunter out. 1894. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just made my day. Will be yes. Fish scale. It's looking pretty good. Well, it's super, super rainy today, but uh, we're back on a beach, back there, Diamond Jordy and I, we're just, uh, coin, beach. coin Beach, this guy has pulled 200 coins off of this beach, and I've probably pulled, I think, 50, um, and it's just a little spot here, just all full of rocks, and uh, even the weather didn't keep us away today, so... We're gonna do our best to find a whole bunch more silver and um, probably keep the, if it's good enough, we'll just keep all the, uh, the fines to silver and forget the pennies. <laughs> Anyhow, see you, see you very shortly. Well, Diamond Jordan just went up to his truck there for a second. And we've been scratching around here for quite a while, not really finding a lot, a lot of junk he's got his uh, 11 inch coil on there and I'm using the little six here trying to squeeze in between the uh, signals and somewhere down here I just flipped over the silver so for now I've lost it again uh, can you see it? it was there it is right over here so the first time I'm touching it and it's looking like I see George on there. It's George. And it is of the sailboat variety. So yes. We're talking about first silver. I believe that's George six, I can see it right there in the end. Nice. First silver of the day. First coin of the day. Actually no. Jordy got a uh, penny, but there it is. First silver of the day. Sweet. So, Jordy just picked up, we could confirm it was at one point, it's probably one of the ugliest largies I've ever seen. But, I got this thing to focus on my hand. There we go. That is, in fact, a large, if we can get the, see a bit of the rim from the, Right here where my thumbnail is. The inside of the wreath where the Dayton stuff is. Can't get any details off of it. Maybe you can. Oh, I see. It sits that way. Anyhow, it's a largey. And that's one of the things we're looking for here. Well, scratch around there. Yeah, it's got a 19. Come on, focus. There we go. 19, 20. I think it's uh, 
24. Penny. KG5. Excellent. Alright, now it's my turn. I flipped over what I think is a largey here. Which is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty sure that's a largey. Let's have a look. Not bad shape. Well, for the ocean coin, maybe. Starting to peel away here. So can get any detail off her. Hmm. She's pretty crusty. But you can see the reefing up here on the edge. This guy just got his first silver of the day and it's uh, 57 Canadian dime. It is silver. Right on buddy. That's two. And we're wet. But we're not miserable because we're still finding stuff. I'm using a little coil to get in between the rocks where the bigger coils can't go. Finding a couple things here, just found two pennies up here. My detector is there. Uh, one was probably 50s, the other was with uh, young Elizabeth, and the other one was a 40s with George. Six. Anyhow, I'll keep going. Checking in a bit. So I'm having lots of fun just kind of going in between the rocks here. Where other detectors can't go. And I just got something, I think, good. Yes. In good condition. That. 1936 nickel. Beautiful. Beautiful for an ocean coin. Oops. Tucked right in here in the rocks. Nice. So since the last time I saw you, I found about another, eh, four or five pennies. But this is the first nickel I found today. Which is cool. Alright, on to the next. So I just pulled this silver out down here. You can see on the back side maybe, it's just a young young uh, Elizabeth, so 40s, sorry, 50s, 60s, nonetheless silver, and uh, over on the other side here, Diamond Jordy has hit a silver too, Double bit of a double header here. Silver. What are you looking at there? Mm -hmm. It's definitely pre prettier than mine. I was living in the iron there. Uh, thought I saw it on the back side there. A peak. The reeded edge. Sailboat variety. And I would say, yeah, maybe 40s. Can't quite tell who's on there. But definite sailboat. 1949. I just got the date there. That's a 1949 dime, bro. Another one for the pile. Yeah, double header silvers. All right. The tide is slowly coming up here. It's a super slow tide today. And stuff is still coming out of this beach, so I'm gonna keep on working. See you on the next. I just got this coin here, and I've been looking at it and looking at it, and it's nickel size, and I definitely saw a bust looking to the left. I think that it's actually a 
See right, I don't know if you can see that right there. It's either like a form, it's a definitely, see just a little bit of the face there in the reflection. So I think that might be a bee nickel, but it has kind of confusing because it kind of has something behind its head over here. Like it, maybe it's a IHP, but I think that that's either a like a who is that? Must be like Barber, the Barber, a V nickel style. You can see that little face. Anyhow, if you know what that is for sure. That might be a crown up on top of the head. Heck, I don't know. On, on the other side, can't really get much. But I think she's an oldie. I would say it's probably a V nickel. I'll try to work on getting a date. That's awesome. Yeah, there's the the bust looking to the left. Amazing. All right. Well, we're still here. We're still getting soaking wet, but we're still finding coins. So we're gonna keep going. So we got just got another silver here. Another uh, it's a KG six. 1945, I saw the date on the other side. Well, the camera really seems to like my shovel. Oh, I don't focus on my shovel. Or do. Focus on my shovel. There we go. Now it doesn't want to. There we are. Thank you, camera. So here's a 1945 dime. So that's... Silver number three on the day for me. Well, here is another silver. So it's not complete, but it's uh flip it around this way, you can see it's a um either an Edward or a King George V. Pretty sure it's a King George V, this one. You don't see the pronounced back of his shoulder over here. So Pretty sure it's KG5. If I ever get a date off it, I doubt I will. But that's silver number four. Yes. And we are still getting soaking wet. We've been here for well since about 8:30, and it's 1:30 now, so five hours. And the tide is right here. So we don't have a lot of time. But, it has been good, just a lot of work getting in these rocks, but the coins are still here. Right, Jordy? It's still here. Wow. Okay, we'll keep going. I just said goodbye to you, and uh, Jordy just pulled another silver out of the hole. anything on it? No. Can't make anything out. It's an old one. Okay. I can see, uh, you can see that here. You can see King, King George looking to the left on the back. And yeah, I see the V Right on the just on the, you can see that. Should have brought my macro lens. Anyways, you can see the V on there. It's a KG KG five. So not a date yet, but that is another silver dime. Congrats, bro! I like your uh, finger your fingerless glove style. Yeah. I know it's like bringing it back, Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay, 
keep on going. So, just pulled this guy out. I don't know if you can see that, but that's another dime. Uh, it looks like a 19, I see a 5, I think. It's an Edward. So that's got to be a 1905. And there's, there is good old Edward on the back. You always tell by that back shoulder line there if it's going to be an Edward or not. So that for me, I guess, is silver number. That's five, Geo? So. Yeah. That's silver number five, I think. Four or five. Four or five. We'll do a little wrap up, but wow. There's another Eddie. Oh, that's so sweet. 1905. Imagine the guy that dropped this. Damn. So cool. All right. That makes me happy. Another one. There is a 1929 silver dime. I think that's silver number six for the day. This place is amazing. Look at that. Another one. Damn. Silver, 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 silver. Outstanding. Totally outstanding. So I've officially lost count of silver today. And here's another one. And that's a 67 codfish dime. It's our Centennial. That is a second. 68 is the last year. That's a 67. Let's see the codfish going across the front. I thought it was a. Uh, thought it was a uh, Merc at first when I saw it like that. I thought it was the bundle of arrows. I think there, but it's a codfish. 67. Yeah. Holy cow. So it's raining again, and if you see, had, saw that hole in my last clip, it was because I just got a dime out of there. And uh, then I, I, there was something still there, so I went and I pulled a penny out, and now I just got a 19, my first silver quarter of the day. And that's a 42. My phone is just being the worst, folks, or there it is. 1942 silver quarter. Got some crud on her, some sand and stuff, but... The date is, the date is clear here, if I can make it focus for you. So we're just back in right now, uh, got dry, got changed, and uh, sorry the last little, or last quarter I found there, the, my camera ran out of space. So I'm just at Diamond Jordy's house and I'm about to head back to my place and um, just wanted to show you his finds, most of which are from that beach since he's got the Equinox. Um, he also has a Deus. So I'll just go and first have a look at everything he's found so far this year. So this is... Diamond Jordy's treasure box here. And most of these coins came off that beach that we were just at today. Um, besides this, these two things here that were in the uh, gold, uh, gold town or gold, gold rush um, town video that we did. And those wings. There's a couple 50 cent pieces there, a whole bunch of nickels and quarters all from that beach pretty much uh i think the blings from some other places that doesn't really have them there but there's all the dimes like dimes and these aren't all from these aren't all from that beach but a lot of them are it's kind of an interesting one to never see anything like this but see it's kind of baggy there it's a melted dime that's pretty cool so melted silver dime um, yeah, this is really awesome. This came off that beach. 
it's a uh, a uh, it's a World War One service medal. And on the back, come on, the camera. Camera really. It's a hard time focusing. And on the back, it has actually has a number which you could probably trace back to the original person that we have lost this or their family members. These are all large scents. Leave that. <laughs> Ridiculous. And here's a number of other probably uh, 1920s or King George five pennies it looks like in that box there. Bullets. Yeah, pretty cool collection there. Diamond Jordy. So we'll go over to his finds for today now. Let's kind of get the color adjusted there. So he on the board today had this, which is a it's what's left of a of a large scent. Um, got pretty see on mine over there, same size, but just got work worn right down. You got one uh, these older older varieties, right? Dime and dime number two, two silver dimes, three silver dimes. Sorry, a green one. There's actually a silver dime, and then you got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen pennies there. Clyde quarter, Clyde nickel, a chain. It's cool. This little kid's bread. It looks like. A little odds and ends. Oh yeah, this is sick, but if you want to see it, you might just be able to make that out. There's an anchor on there. So like an anchor cufflink. Super cool. And you got other little random odds and ends. I had a pretty awesome day today. So a 42 quarter here. And then I have a 1907 dime. Uh, 1922, that guy there, a 1927, 19, I think this is a 45, where's the next one, a 45, yeah, this is a 45, this one's uh 48, and then this is a, like 50, 60s, you can't see, and that's a 67, um, also on here, I have the 36 nickel, which is great for coming out of the ocean. Large scent right there. I uh, can't get date off of it, but it is a Edward V. So up till 1920. And this is, in fact, if you get on this side, right, you can see the face. Spin it around here. And this is a V nickel. There it is. It's another V nickel, but can't get a date off it. But that's confirmed V. So that's super cool. Um, this little, let's put the light over here a bit. So this I found last night at Old Gold Rush Town. These are all bag seals, a bit of a um, buckle. And I got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, and the squish, 23 pennies. A couple of those are King George 5s. I'll separate them. I got the inside of a toonie, $2 coin, and a clad dime and a clad nickel. Overall, that was a pretty awesome day. And, uh, yeah, I think we kind of killed it there. Sweet.